Angel Ernie here. It is Thursday morning. I am getting ready to make some uh, keto pumpkin cheesecake bites. So if you see this, you know they turned out okay and I didn't have a total Pinterest fail. So I will be back in a little bit. In my bowl here, I have mixed eight ounces of room temperature cream cheese and four ounces of room temperature butter. So I've added my spices to the mix and since I do not have any pumpkin pie spice, I basically made my own. So I've got uh, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, an eighth of a teaspoon of ginger, and an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. All right, so after I added the spices, I added half a cup of pureed pumpkin, six tablespoons of powdered erythritol, four tablespoons of coconut flour, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and because I like mine a little bit sweeter, I also added two servings, which is 14 drops of uh, liquid stevia, and now I'm going to scoop this onto a tray with a parchment paper and then I'm going to refrigerate it for one hour. Okay, so here are the cheesecake bites all done. They're pumpkin cheesecake bites. Uh, so I actually had a little bit left over and I just kind of balled it up in some... Uh, foil and put it downstairs in the refrigerator. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it yet. So this is it and I'm getting ready to try one. I, I already tried the, the dough before I put it down and yeah it was really good so just a second. Okay getting ready to try a cheesecake bite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those are good. Sorry. <laughs> Those are really good. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Let's see how long I can make these last. <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, post the uh, the link to the recipe in the description box below. But I think they turned out good. I'll check back later. It's been a long time since I had a perfect avocado. Oh my gosh. Yay! Okay, so here's my dinner. I didn't really have breakfast or lunch per se. I, I did take bites here and there of my pumpkin uh, cheesecake bites. Uh, and of course I was, you know, dipping my finger there into the, uh, the batter. And uh, I also had some pork rinds. This is the first actual meal. So this is gonna be dinner. Uh, not time yet. It, it's only one o'clock. So, anyway, that's dinner. It's, you know, my Portofino yellowfin tuna. Got some lemon juice in there. And avocado. Well, there's that tree that I love to look at from the backyard. I tried to go around to the uh, around the block get a picture of it from the front and it just wasn't as impressive from the front and it's a perfect day today it's cool it's cloudy just the way I like it love it I love it when it is like this I got a sweater and my uh, poncho on just enjoying being outside in the cool weather, my favorite time of year. Good morning, people morning here. It is Friday morning, and I am getting ready to go to Walmart. Uh, yes, it's cold, but I will not be complaining. <laughs> Does I like it when it's like this? Uh, it is, according to my thermometer here in the car, it is 32 degrees, and I am fine with that. I like my cold weather. At least it's not hot and I'm not sitting here sweating my head off. So, uh, 
I don't really have much going on today. I'm going to do some cooking, but not much different than what I normally do. I'm just, I'm going to cook a package of ground, uh, grass fed ground beef and a package of sausage together for the weekend. Uh, I'm going to pull my smoked pulled pork out of the freezer to thaw for the weekend. I don't know if I'm going to make any chavos. I haven't really made any this week at all, <laughs> believe it or not. I don't know. I might make a couple. So, uh, that's all that's going on right now. I just kind of wanted to check in, you know. I haven't really been doing a whole lot of recording. I, I did do a recipe yesterday, and I will make sure to include the, uh, the link for that uh, in the description box below. So, other than that, I'm just kind of waiting for the car to defrost right now. <laughs> um, the back back window is uh, completely defrost, but it takes the front one a long time. <laughs> so, anyway, I will check back in later. I hope everyone has a great day. Okay, so here's what I've done for the weekend. I've got uh, just uh, grass-fed ground beef and a roll of hot sausage in there and in there. This I'm going to cut up uh, probably tomorrow. Oh, the uh, grass-fed ground beef that I used was this kind. I got it from Aldi. It was in a, a three-pack. And then my mess. My mess. <laughs> I'm spinning you around in circles here. She's a mess. <laughs> and I got um, the custard. So in each of these is uh, three eggs, a uh, container of the uh, Equate brand caramel protein shakes, and cinnamon. One of them I also added a little bit of uh, banana extract, and one of them I also added a little bit of strawberry extract. Don't know which what they're which ones are in, <laughs> and then uh, some Brussels sprouts turned out perfectly, just the way I like them. I put some onions in there, some bacon crumbles. I cooked it in butter and avocado oil. I would have put some uh, sprinkled some pecans, chopped pecans in there, but I don't have any, and I don't use almonds anymore because they just cause me too much inflammation. So that's what I've done for the weekend. Getting ready to clean up my mess and go downstairs for a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you now. This is going to be my dinner. Uh, it is not even 11 a.m. So of course this is going to be later. Uh, but this is the uh, grass-fed ground beef with the uh, hot sausage. I got uh, Brussels sprouts in there. And uh, in that I've got uh, some bacon crumbles and onions and then um, chihuahua cheese. So this is going to be my dinner, and I will check back in in a few minutes. Hey there, so I'm going to go ahead and close this out, and I'm a little crooked here, I don't know why. I can never get this thing straight. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close this out, uh, since I already showed you my dinner. I didn't, I, I guess you could say I had breakfast. <laughs> I had three of the cheesecake bites. And I put them in the freezer last night, and I think they're better out of the freezer rather than just in the refrigerator because it firms them up a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go, more than likely, because it's the weekend, I'm not going to be doing any recording. Um, uh, that sound is, I've got coffee brewing right now, pumpkin spice, and my cup is ready to go. Uh, that's another thing. <laughs> uh, Lori... At Fluffy No More did a, a video a while back, it's been quite a while, on her favorite mug. I am going to be doing one of those probably sometime within this next week, I hope. i got to write it down so I remember to do it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's it. I hope everyone has a great weekend. If you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time.